Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a Bath & Body Works walkthrough. It is currently still Sunday the 20th of March. And so that candle sale for $12.95 is going on and I do have a coupon for 25% off. So I'm gonna go inside and check it out. I don't need too many candles. I'm gonna try to limit myself to like four or five, but we'll see. I do have that 25% off coupon and then I do have a free item up to $7.50. So I'm gonna get a hand cream, I think and just check it out because I haven't been there. Well, that's a lie. I think I was in there like a couple weeks ago, but we're gonna check it out and see what's new and I will bring you guys along. So let's go ahead and hop into the store. All right, guys, we are heading on in and first stop is definitely candles for the new sale. So this is the spot that had all the new candles out. So we've got black cherry seltzer and you'll notice these are all 26.50, so a great deal on the, um, new candles blue sky breeze which is like kind of a linen -y scent morning spring air so um and then we have honeysuckle and peach spritz my store did not have lemon pound cake i'm so sad i wanted that one really bad but they did have the sugar lemonade which smelled pretty good but not bakery so i did not pick that up and here are the notes on honeysuckle and peach spritz you can pause that to read i go a little fast and i think don't remember seeing the gingham candle the last time I was at the store, so that might be new, or they just pulled it out from the back because of this candle sale. I don't know, but figured I'd show you guys that. And then, of course, the white barn wall. Honestly, this store is so clean. I've been loving it lately because they keep it so organized in here. Oh, side note, champagne margarita is amazing. You need it. It's so good. I picked it up in my last haul. And I think sugared lemon zest is new, or at least it's returning for this year. Um, it also smells really good. It smells just like that lemonade candle, to be honest with you. And then we have a ton of sprinkled birthday cakes, which they knew would be, you know, very popular. And then we've got this collection. Not sure what it's called, but Coral Waves is right there. And then Ice Dragon Fruit Tea. I thought I'd like that, but the tea note was just a little too much for me. I can't really do green tea scents. They are not my vibe. And then they had a ton, uh, and I mean a ton of these Prosecco and peaches left over from earlier this year and those champagne toasts from the Valentine's collection. And I found one of these positively sweet candles. So that was definitely a score. And then we have a little bit of a sneak peek into the tropical collection, which this is just one little table. And I love those pineapple candle holders. They are so cute. Um, but here's the actual table for the whole tropical collection with candle holders and everything. So first we have strawberry daiquiri, which smelled absolutely amazing with those frozen strawberries and like a little bit of that, um, alcohol scent. And then we've got sweet red mango, which was a little too like zesty for me. I don't know. It was like almost too tart is the word I was looking for. Tropical Island Colada. That one smelled definitely like a pina colada that was kind of crazy how similar it smelled we've got this beautiful single wick collection which i love the packaging on it and the little flamingo and pineapple candle holder for the single wicks just crack me up um we have this little easter table with a display and some minis so the tutti frutti candy is 750 so you can use a reward on that and they do have the little pink apple punch um hop to it hand uh hand soap there and then they do have the Tutti Frutti candy, little fragrance mist. Cute for Easter baskets. I'm not going to pick it up because it's basically just champagne toast repackaged. And I did find this is an online exclusive, right? Because it's huge. It's $34.50. It like literally is bigger than my hand. It's ginormous, but it's gorgeous. Um, if that goes on sale after this, like for 50% off, might have to hop on it. Um, and then we have a few more. They did a ton of Easter stuff this year. They didn't do that much last year, or maybe I'm just not remembering it, but they had, they have literally four wallflower fragrance plugins, which is a little insane in my opinion, but I really liked the gingham kind of style of the packaging on these candles and this like pretty much whole line. It was very cute and sweet carrot cake is now out in a three wick, I believe online only for now and maybe in stores soon. Not quite sure yet. Um, and then we do have the raspberries and whipped vanilla, which I do really like that single wick. 
and then this beautiful display, which I actually found their display chart of how to organize stuff. And no wonder why the store is staying so beautiful and clean because honestly, there's not a lot of foot traffic. So they have time to go back and adjust based on the floor plans, which is just amazing. So I really have been loving this store. They have tons of candle holders out ready for summer. And then I did find some new um, plugins. We've got this little like I don't know what this is, a mojito? I don't know. Um, a really cool little drink glass. We've got the pineapple, which I showed you guys in the last video. And then this beautiful flamingo is brand new and she glows. So if you plug her in, only the outline is what shows up in the lights. So it's 1250 and yet, like it says, it glows. It's so cute, especially if you're going for a summer theme. And they do have this little wall of uh, wallflower plugins. I am obsessed with this store, you guys. They have such beautiful displays. And then I think this is a little new Sunshine and Lemons in that um, like clean chic packaging. And I have to pick this up every time I see it. But the marble wallflower plug is so chic. Oh my god. I'd put that in my kitchen. It, it'd be so pretty. And then we do have the Fresh Getaway Collection. This um, cleansing bar, that's new. And it's $8.50. Um, I don't think that's an upcharge from last year, but they do have it in the minis as well. Not my scent, but if you like it, they have it in a ton of different formulas. Um, they also have the hand cream. I think they have moisturizing body wash. So they really have it in a lot of different um, packagings. So if you enjoy this scent, hop on it now because it does not look like it's going to last until SAS. So, And then coming around, they do have it also in a pocket bag, which, I mean, good on them. If you love the scent, you're in luck because they have it literally in every form. I found the scrub, which I had not seen before, and it is the sand scrub. So this is what I was talking about before. The sand and sea salt scrub is supposed to be like the most abrasive scrub Bath & Body Works has. It is $16.50. So you can get it with a um, coupon from the, the rewards app. And they do have it in the body butter as well. And I think that's $18.50. So not quite with the rewards app, but if they do have a body care day, you could pick it up then. And then the Eau de Parfum, and that's $12.50, so you could also use a coupon for that one. And then the beautiful tropical display in my store. Honestly, Island Margarita is so, or no, Waikiki Beach, Beach Coconut and that lime green packaging is so cute. Um, we've got Saltwater Breeze. This whole line right here makes me nostalgic. It kind of reminds me of Lisa Frank. Am I the only one who thinks that? Because it's really cute. I don't know. And then they do have it in the moisturizing body wash and then some more minis over here. Pink pineapple sunrise is so yummy. And then this cute little pineapple backpack, so adorable. Coconut copper sands, I actually am loving even though I don't like coconut scents. Kind of reminds me of coconut cream pie, gonna be honest, but not as gourmand as that one. And then we do have some of the Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower and then pink pineapple sunrise in the sand and sea salt body scrub, which I won't be picking up because it makes a mess. But if you like an abrasive scrub, you'll like that one. And they do have that one in the body wetter as well. And then I just have to appreciate this beautiful bubble bath in Into the Night which is also, I think it's $16.50, so you could pick it up with a um, award certificate from the app. And then the beautiful um, Diamond Shimmer Mist. I'm sorry, it's just so pretty. I pick it up every single time I go to the store. And then they did have a ton of Gingham Love at my store. They still have the um, perfume, and it is $59.50, but it is a very large bottle, and what a beautiful gift that would be. And they do still have the body scrub at my store too, so if you love that scent, they still have it. So definitely hop on that train. And then my store even has a little bit of fairy tale left, which I don't think most stores still have that. <laughs> and at the beach is back, of course. Um, and Rose is still there. And I did find a little Easter gift set. Look how cute. It is cozy vanilla almond. And I think back there... The hand lotion is unscented and it is $14.50. I couldn't tell exactly what the pocket back was because it was backwards, but good deal. Um, Waikiki Beach Coconut in the little mini. Some more minis. You got Pink Pineapple Sunrise hand lotion. We've got co Copper Coconut Sands in the mini shower gel. Um, and some Fiji sun Sunshine Guava Teeny. That was hard to say. And I did find a lot of lip products. So we have the Berry Scone Exfoliating Lip Scrub. And this is $10.50, ladies and gents. 
way too much for lip scrub. But they did have a ton of these hydrating lip balms. So this one was in the wild berry scent. The next one is in the peach scent. I love the colors of them. Not worth $8.50 in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, the lime one, which should have been mint, honestly. And then the vanilla one. So these are super cute, but I never pay full price for them. Um, same with these little lip glosses. They are so tiny for, what is it, $8.50? That's way too much. Um, also these beautiful like skinny tubes. Yeah, only buy these at SAS. Totally not worth it. And then I found a lot of new hand sanitizers and hand sanitizer holders. So this little <laughs> pineapple was $6.95. I found some sprays. We've got Island Margarita, Pink Pineapple Sunrise, and Fiji White Sands. So lots of different scents in those. The pink bubblegum pocket bag is so cute. Um, we've got the Flamingo little pocket bag holder. She's adorable. She's super fluffy. $9.95 for that one. There is the dinosaur that makes noises. He roars when you press him. And I can't see the price on him. I think he's $12, $12.50. And then this like Frenchie with a unicorn horn. I don't know what's going on there. She's $9.95. And this is my favorite, the turtle with glitter inside of him. And he's only $6.95. He's so cute. I'm gonna, I might have to go back and get him. And then my store did have a little like preview butterfly display. So this is raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. It smelled really good in my opinion. I've heard it's a repackage of Perfect Peony, but I don't remember what that smells like. So couldn't tell you, but they did have that. So we are back from Bath & Body Works. I did pick up some candles and a hand cream and a little something else. So we're gonna go home first and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, so I just got back home and let's go ahead and get through the haul. So I'm gonna start off with the non-candle items. I did pick up a pink pineapple sunrise hand cream. I had a free item up to 750 coupon, so I picked this up for free. And then I did get a pump and this was 295. I just wanted to pick one of these up. I've been meaning to for a long time and I just remembered to, so pick that up. So the first candle I picked up is something that I have been wanting for a while and I just hadn't really bought the bullet and bought it yet. And that is blueberry pie, which I'm so excited to have back. I've had this for two years in a row every summer and I love it. The scent notes are juicy blueberries, flaky crust, and sugar crystals. So this one is so yummy. It, it really does smell like a pie and like a candy blueberry. So, so, so good. And by the way, I did get all my candles for $9.71, including that 25% off coupon. That is such a good price. I honestly should have picked up a ton more. And then the next one I got is Strawberry Daiquiri. So very excited about this one because it's kind of gonna be my first like summer, actual summer candle. The scent notes are frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, and zesty citrus twist. You definitely can smell like the hint of rum with like a little bit of an alcoholic like twinge at the end. And that lime, I definitely get that. Oh, there's no lime. Zesty citrus twist. Well, I get a little bit of lime and mostly strawberry. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell like a daiquiri. Like it smells really good. I'm excited to burn that one and see how it throws. And the last one I got, yes, I only got three candles. Kind of hard to believe. Is Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles, which is from Valentine's Day. And I wanted to get it then and I just didn't because I wasn't really purchasing candles then. But I'm so glad that I found it at my store. I, I went to this store like two weeks ago and they had two of these candles there. And I was like, oh wow, I should come back and get it. And I didn't. And then I came back today and it was there. It was the last one. So excited. So the scent notes are rich chocolate, gooey butterscotch, and candied cherry. I know the Candle Channel had talked about this recently in his like review of uh, candles for the sale. And he said it was amazing and it was a great thrower and a great scent. So I'm super excited to have it. And I don't have any chocolate scents right now, so good one to add to the collection. And honestly, the packaging is just darling. So I'm very excited to have this one. So yeah, that is it for today's walkthrough slash haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there's gonna be another floor set coming soon, but honestly, I don't really plan on buying a lot of stuff until like SAS maybe, but we shall see how that goes because you know, we always say that and then we end up buying, so. But for me, honestly, I need to chill, <laughs> at least for the next month. I might even go on like a no buy or a low buy because I've been buying like crazy. So 
A lot of hauls are coming your way, especially a giant Scentsy order, so sorry about that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you participated in the candle sale and what you got. Um, I'm really sad they didn't come out with a lemon pound cake candle before this sale because I definitely would have picked that one up. So I might exchange for that one, but probably not. But yeah, let me know down below if you picked anything up at this sale. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.